guys, today I feel like uh, we're at a point in time in our factory build that uh, warrants another, another bit of a showcase. So, now I'm not entirely sure what all was here last time, so I'll basically go over what I believe to be new. If I, if I recover some stuff, shoot me. Okay, so here we've got above our reactor. Uh, a friend creator, he might have been on last time on the server anyways, but I am on all alone. And here we've got just a little work shed, a zillion chests to store a bunch of shit. Anyways, that's not all that interesting. So we've still got our hallways set up, and I believe this building's new here, and this will be um, our high voltage solar array assembly line. So, I guess the line will start here somewhere, and uh, zigzag back and forth, <clears throat> excuse me, zigzag back and forth two or three times. Um, so yeah, that'll be the top floor, and obviously we'll have pipes and shit running underneath on this floor, or maybe even more processes. And then this area here, oh, broke that torch. This area under here that's not quite dug out yet deeper will be the sorting and storage area. So, just to get you guys a perspective of where we are in the thing, we started over. Started over on. I guess I can't really direct on this thing. Started over by the reactor, and we just went around the big building. Put an emergency exit here which we're never short on. And anyways, yeah. So we'll just get back over here. I've made a few changes to... Um, not this room in particular, but to the transformer room. See, in this room is just the same AND gate setup with those sending over. Um, and I believe the transformer is off. No, it's not. Hmm. Anyways, um, so when those fill up, it'll obviously turn everything off. Now here in the transformer room, this is where the changes took place, mostly under here. So we've just got the one high voltage line running to the mass fabricator room, which I believe is quite possibly new as well. And then two low voltage lines heading to power the rest of the machines. And all the transformers for that are here. So... Um, now I'll progress down the line. And I believe the recycling room was there last time, but just in case it wasn't, I'll show it off again. So we'll have receiving junk items from our quarries, which those should also be new. So lots of progress was made. Um, yeah, it gets recycled and sent off to the mass fabrication room, which looked beautiful and was all nicely set up at one point in time. And then I discovered that, um, and I'll just quickly show you, that uh, if you take a mass fabricator and you've got your, um, your items, or your recycle, blah, 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 your scrap material, your shit from your recycle, coming in the top, like you would assume, right? Like all the other machines, furnaces, whatnot. Let's say the stick is a scrap, it goes in there, and if you get the pipe coming out the side, once again, like all the other machines, it'll pull that out. So you gotta switch stuff up and have your scrap coming in the bottom, and stuff being pulled out the top or the sides. So I just found that kinda interesting, and yeah, it kinda pissed me off at the time, because spent too long crafting 10 mass fabricators. And another problem with this room is the mass fabricators along this side. And I'll show you the power grid under here. It comes in there. So this mass fabricator and I don't know, the ones closest to it, like this one and stuff, they'd, they'd start working. But you get down to that end or this end and they'd barely be receiving enough power to to do anything. So, that was 
quite disappointing, so I don't really know what we'll have to do there. I suppose once we get more... Because mass fabrication isn't essential at this moment. Once we get more um, high voltage power or, or solar arrays created with the factory here, we'll probably run the, the mass fabricator room all off those. Or something. I don't know. We'll upgrade our power system for sure. Anyways. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I just ate some peanuts and stuff and a little bit caught in my throat. So here, as it looks like, and as the door set on the room, is the mass or no, the mass raider room. So once again, same basic design we have in all our other rooms where the items come in here, distribution pipes sending item that way, item that way. But um things get a little more complicated on this half of the room, and I'll touch on that in a second. Yeah, just basic distribution pipes, passing it down, taking one, passing on three. So that'll work. Gets pulled down. Got this system. Because of rotary macerators, of course, they need power in order to keep a, their RPMs. So, that power line. Not sure what I was stuck on there. This, uh, Redstone here powers both the engine and the mass fa er, macerator. I keep wanting to say mass fabricator. Now on this side of the room, which I think I'm going to have to change up at some point in time. I don't know. Things are kind of strange, but I've got a filter going on here, so it sorts out the iron, gets sent down here, and then it carries on does the take one pass back sort of thing. And we get, so that'll all produce um, refined iron. And then green gets dirt, coal, tin, and copper. And those get sent in here. Dirt would, dirt or coal goes into those, same with that. Same with that one. Then here, what's left gets filtered out to tin and copper. And only takes those in, spits them out the red. Another sorting pipe. Copper goes in the black, tin and yellow, and also passes some copper and tin on as well. So that way, and I'm not entirely sure how this works. Hopefully, and you know, fingers crossed on this, it um, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Definitely have to change the design on this one, but the idea is for those two to produce bronze. Definitely gonna have to redesign that, maybe just build a separate room for bronze production where it just pulls the dust and does it that way. But yeah, and then here we've got the extraction room built. No extractors made up yet. So just basic room, cookie cutter room. Haven't got the tunnel built yet either. I've actually taken a few days off from playing this because I was getting a little bored. Um, built a Swift Wolf's rendering gale, so that's what's allowing me to fly and shoot little leaves and eat my client star up. And yeah, that's basically the factory overview at this point in time. Um, some other changes in the world is. We may or may not soon be getting another player on the server. Um, depends if he actually gets around to playing. I don't know. Uh, we built this lighthouse here. And some I want to do is get set up um, with the lights or complex or whatever it's called. One of the 40 plus mods in this. Set up into this lighthouse. And then, yeah, the tunnel on the bottom here leads uh, all the way to, actually while we're underground here, I'll cover my red matter pickaxe and my dark matter shovel, those are new, and what a better place than a cave to test them out, how to show off their skills. So, unbreaking mine at the speed of a diamond or faster or something. 
but what it can do is you can charge it up with the V key here. And I'll charge up that. You can right click and it poops out the orders. Charge it up a second time and it does a larger area of order. Charge it up even further. And you can clear out a lot of ore. It's great for mining. I thought I saw something I wanted to mine around here. But I mean, it's super helpful for clay, or for coal, sorry. Because it's usually in a pretty big seam. And basically, it's my understanding the differences between the levels, according to the wiki, is it just clears out a larger area. Ow. <laughs> um, it clears out a larger area of of the ore, so you can just kind of right click spam around. Oh, I guess not. The wiki is exposed. Anyways, that's a thing. And then basically the same with the shovel clears out stuff, and then as well, you've got a M, no, G, C, C function, sorry, and tall shot, three tall, wide shot, see, so normal, tall, is quickly breaks stuff really fast, basically they're all just variations of the three by three pattern, um, wide shot, three wide, long shot, three long, just click, oh, there we go, collect all those quickly, and I think it's a problem with no leg that causes the ghost stuff, I don't know, might have to take that out, it's hard to tell which one's which, yeah, so those are just some cool features of those tools, built a transmutation tablet so I can create stuff on the fly which I find super handy just in case I get hungry or something mm. only three more <laughs> alright that'll create a lot of food decent amount anyways so yeah those are the recent changes now so yeah, I'll see you guys next time with the next update.